Um, though he's upheld as being righteous within the Jewish community, was circumcised, obeyed the law to the best of his ability, failed and faltered. Even Abraham was saved by grace and grace alone. Even Abraham, who came millennia before Christ was born, was reliant on the sacrifice of Jesus to receive righteousness and salvation. There's no other system if Abraham can't make it based on his own, what chance do you or I have of doing so? That's the point of the text. If Abraham can't do it, we must be reliant on God as well. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, I pray that we wouldn't be distracted by, by lies about how to earn your favor. Lord, we earn your favor by submitting to you, by acknowledging our place, and by allowing you into our lives to change and transform us. And out of that, Lord, we can serve and honor you through righteous acts, through the things James talks about. There ought to be fruit to our faith. But Lord, we must first submit and acknowledge that we can't be perfect on our own, that we are sinful, and that we are in need of a Savior. Lord, if Abraham's actions were not considered righteous on their own, but his faith was counted as righteousness, how much more do we need to be people of faith? So Lord, I pray that our hearts would rest on you in this season as we prepare once again to welcome your son and the gifts that he brought into this world. I pray, Lord, that there would be hope in our hearts, hope for the future, hope for our future, hope in the promises that you made to us, that we would see them as true and faithful, knowing that the God who promised them is true and faithful. And Lord, in our text in future weeks, you will promise to forgive our sins, to make us right, to give us relationship with our God, not based on our own righteousness, but based on your son's sacrifice. So Lord, if there be someone here that has not yet come to you and sought your forgiveness face to face, I pray, Lord, that they would take the time this season to do that, to speak to you of, of your goodness, of your loveliness, of your holiness, to speak of our brokenness and our sinfulness, to seek forgiveness for the ways that we have wronged you, the ways that we have made ourselves into idols, the ways we have put other things before you, and then to receive the promise in faith that you will be a righteous judge, that you will make all right, that you will bring an end to suffering and hardship. Lord, we love you, and as people of faith, we place hope in you and in your promises. In your name we pray, amen. Why don't you stand as we close? <clears throat>
ends this section with some promises to you and I about what he will do, about what God will do. He says, to, to those of us whom God will credit righteousness, for us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, for he was delivered to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Go in peace knowing that we have been justified and made righteous by God.